All right. Hey, everybody. What's up? This is RDH Davis, and I'm back with another episode and gameplay of Heavy Rain. We're going to continue where we left off. I hope everyone's doing well today, and I hope you enjoy this episode of my gameplay of Heavy Rain. Uh, just in case, uh, for those of you who saw my last episode, um, <laughs> I'm so sorry that you saw me rage at that one point. I don't know if anybody else went through that same experience, not understanding what you were supposed to do. If not, then it's just me. It's just one of those RDH moments where I'm like, oh, duh. But I was getting so mad. But hopefully we don't have to go. I hope that I don't have to go through something like that ever again in this game. I hope not. I really hope. Because that really took me there. And I didn't like it. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and see how we do in today's episode. SK, you need to do a how to make Kool-Aid stream. <gasps> Guys, I am going to do baking streams again. So uh, not too sure when. Maybe next week, sometime. Uh, I do need to get the cake, the cake mix and the ingredients and all that good stuff. So that way we could do a live stream. Oh, and just in case, for those of you who are new to my channel, I do do some baking streams. It's been a long time since I've done a baking stream. And baking streams, I do like, what, cinnamon rolls. I do brownies, chocolate cakes. But just the basic stuff. <laughs> I don't go to, I don't get too crazy creative. If you're, if you're thinking like, oh, he cooks and everything, he's going to show it. Like, no, I just do the simple baking stuff. You guys watch me and I get to, I get to talk to you. You, you also get to see me. Uh, and we'll, you know, we'll just chat for a little bit while we wait for the for the, the cake or whatever it is that we're baking to bake. And then, yeah, it will give you a, a chance. It will give us a chance to just chat. And you guys can get a chance to know me as well. Blair Witch is on sale. Oh, I already got it, SK. I already got it a long time ago when it was at that price. Did you reset? Did you reset, Evie? <gasps> Evie? Wait, it's morning here. I had an appointment and work and meeting later today. Oh, my goodness. Well, good morning, Evie. I hope you slept well. And I hope the appointment goes well today for you. <laughs> Uneducated, but you want, you want to get baked? Well, well then. Also, yes, uh, by the way, SK, speaking of the Blair Witch Project, I do plan on playing that maybe sometime this month, maybe after this game, if you guys are down, because on October, on October, uh, month of October, we will be playing horror games, and I will be playing Tormented Souls, because they already announced Tormented Souls Part 2 is already on the works, supposedly. I don't know if it's true or not, but that's what the articles have been saying, that they're already working on Part 2. So I'm like, oh, shoot, I better get to playing that game as soon as possible. I had some sleep way more than the night before. Well, that's good. That's good. Rest is always important. OK, that's some progress. Are you excited for Silent Hill 2 remake? Oh, I sure am educated possum. I definitely am. I just wish that they would announce the pre-order. This is Agent Norman Jaden of the FBI. Oh, no. Ethan Mars is one of your patients. We'd like to ask you a few questions about him. I'm sorry, that's impossible. Yeah, you can't I give out information. Pardon. Yeah, he I'm can't give out. I'm bound by an oath of secrecy. Under no circumstances may I discuss my patients. My job is to find Sean Mars alive, and I don't give a damn about any bullshit oath. Hey! I know you don't want to protect the murderer. If you know anything, you must tell us, Doctor. I'm sorry, I can't help you. And now I must ask you to leave. Uh, you need to cooperate for your own sake. Doctor, a child's life is at stake. You may know something that could help us save him. Are you threatening me? I'm just giving <laughs> you some free advice, Doc. I suggest you. <laughs> I'm sorry. What the hell? We're telling him, Doctor, please help us. A child is at stake. Is that a threat? Oh, those are fighting words, you mother. <laughs> Where the heck did he get? Are you threatening me? I would have been like, sir, where did you see the threat? Wait, wait, wait. I, you're supposed to be a psychiatrist. Where in the world did you get from what I said was a threat? <laughs> oh, my God. That was funny. Uh, reason. It's your duty to inform the police if you suspect one of your patients, doctor. I am going to call the police and make a complaint about your behavior. This is the police. 
Doctor, you are really pushing my buttons. The only thing I'm interested in is saving that kid's life. Hey, so hey, hey. Be a good boy and tell me what I want what to know. What the hell? I'm really going to lose my temper. Blake, that's enough. Let's get out of here. Blake, Blake what the hell? You, you have no right. He has no right. <laughs> get off him. The hell's your problem, Blake? I'll, can I replace him with a different partner? Oh my god. Hey! What the freak? Come on, Doc. There's an easy way and a hard way. Oh, hell no, Blake! You have no right to hit him. I'm saving a kid's life for Christ's sake. Yeah, but. Get off him! What's up with you, Norm? How you getting cold feet? You don't like to get your hands dirty, huh? I thought you wanted to save that kid! I want to save Sean Mars just as much as you do, but that doesn't give me the freedom to do what the hell I like, so you're gonna stop this shit right now! Beat his ass! Beat his ass! I hate him. I don't like him at all. I'll get you for this, Jaden. <laughs> don't worry. I will not forget. Ethan Mars has had Ooh, I'm problems shaking. since his first son died. Oh. Feels responsible for his death. A sort of morbid neurosis. He is haunted by visions of drowning bodies. A few weeks ago, after one of our usual sessions, I found this on the floor. It must have fallen out of his pocket. <gasps> oh no. Man, it's all leading to, shoot, they're making him look bad. My mic clips? Oh, sorry, if you use. Ash, I want you to assign every available man to finding Ethan Mars. I want a man outside his place day and night. Notify all agencies to start looking for him. I want you to keep an eye on the train stations, the airports, the bus terminals. I want every cop in the city on his ass so that if he moves, we know about it. Yes. Ethan Mars is the origami killer. I mean, hold on. You, this guy loves to pinpoint, like, immediately that this person's a killer. Oh, he's so annoying. Sorry, if the mic was cutting off, I'm so sorry. That was, it was not meant to do that. It was really not meant to do that. Maybe I was moving around my mic a lot. <clears throat> oh, where this guy? My favorite character in this game. Oh my god. Nice shot. Thank you. Please come in, Mr. Shelby. Would you care for a coffee? Oh, no thanks. Oh, no, it's because it's not it's not limiting the very loud frequencies. Wait a minute. So thank you for letting me know, an, an educated person. Is the game louder than my voice? Are there moments that in the game that it sounds louder than what I'm what I'm saying? You need to add a, a, a compressor or a noise a limitator. Ugh, if only I had the technology for that, man. <laughs> if only I had that kind of stuff. But I have to work with what I have. No, your voice is is so loud that it it clips. I don't understand what you mean by that. Your voice is so loud that it clips, meaning like you hear like a little that. Okay, well, actually, we'll worry about that later. Okay, okay, maybe because the mic is a little bit close. Yes, that. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry, I don't know what some of this stuff means. <laughs> Sorry. You play? I tried once, but I think the owner of the course is still looking for me. <laughs> it's an interesting sport. It requires strength, but also a cool head and absolute precision. Would you care to hit a few balls with me? There's no danger of damaging the greens here. Oh, a few balls, you say? Okay. I would care to hit a few balls. Grab a club. Sure, I'll, I'll, I'll hit a few balls. Oh, you're checking me out, sir. Hmm? You like what you see? 
been working out, as you can tell. Grab this stick. The balls are in that basket. Bend over for ya. There we go. Now watch me hit this. The most important I'll... thing is to grip uh -huh. the club correctly. Uh -huh. When you feel ready, you swing. Okay. Now watch this. Uh, this is going to be the best hit you've ever seen in your whole life. Oh, watch it. Watch and learn. Watch and learn, baby. <clears throat> well, it's only your first ball. You should try to strike it a little harder next time. Oh, okay. I'm assuming you didn't invite me here just to play golf, Mr. Kramer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hear you've been asking questions about my son. Oh, That's so right. you're the... I want to know if Gordy is linked to the origami killer case in any way. My son had nothing to do with that sordid case. Well, then he has nothing to fear from my investigation. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You have no business investigating my son. I told you, he had nothing to do with it. Hmm. With all due respect, Mr. Kramer, it's up to me to decide who I want to investigate. It's true. I'm an influential man, Mr. Shelby, and I pay very well for loyalty. Hey, no worries, uneducated possum. I appreciate your help. Are you trying to buy me? Uh, don't don't get me wrong. Let's I appreciate it. Let's just say it. I'm trying to show you where your interest lies. Don't you worry. How much do you want to leave my son alone? Are you serious? I think you misunderstood me. I don't play that game. Yeah, I'm more into bowling. Don't go near my son, Mr. Shelby. If you do, you'll regret it. Oh, really? Is that a threat? Have a nice day, Mr. Kramer. Are you threatening me? I'll see you in Mario Kart. No, actually, Mario Tennis, bitch. Now he's pissed. Oh, okay. I thought I was gonna... Press the indicated button repeatedly until it disappears. Okay, it's best if I read those, because I think I do need these reminders. Thursday, 7.47 in the morning. Uh-oh, is this the next location? Okay, guys, this is level three. I cannot fail this time. What the hell is this? Porcelain lizards? They look new. Out of place with the rest of this old beat-up stuff. Put it down. Put it down. What is up with these lizards? Where are you, Sean? There's been a fire in here. Everything is all burned up. Still feeling weak. I can hardly stand. Uh, 9711 Marble Street. 
It's the right place, but what am I supposed to do in this dump? The pain's coming back. Drugs are beginning to wear off. Oh no, really? I don't have time for you to feel the pain again. Oh. A key. Da -da -da -da. Well, well, well. Did it work? Hello. Oh, let's hope that this is an easy level. I hope this is an easy task that we have to do. Not like the second one. What is that, YouTube? Hmm. Let's check to see if RDH Davis is streaming. Yeah, my son can wait. Are you prepared to suffer to save your son? You have five minutes to oh! take off the last section of one of your fingers in front of the camera. Oh! If you succeed, you will get your reward. Oh! Oh, God! I love my fingers! Five minutes! We only got five minutes to save the world. Oh lord. Ah! Wait, 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 wait. Ah. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I get I hate those moments. I hate these moments. I hate these moments. Nothing in the bathroom, right? Nothing in the bathroom? No. I think I'm just gonna have to do it. I'm just gonna have to do it. Oh you I hate the way you walk. You have four minutes ah! and thirty seconds left. Get the damn knife! Oh my god! Uh, put it back! Put it back! Cause he only ca he can only carry one thing at a time, the moron. All right, let's do this. Let, come on! Move your dumb ass! Oh, oh. Sit your ass down! Cut your finger! Do it! You fail at the second. Oh god! <laughs> do it! Oi! You have four minutes left. No! <laughs> oh God! <laughs> the neighbor. Can you keep it down over there? All right, let's get that alcohol. Come on, come on. Oh, really? Oh, for crying out loud. Huh? Oh. I wonder what the alcohol was for. Or that canister.
Dude, he's drowning. He's drowning. No, 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 I don't want to know. You know me, SK. If we fail, if we die, or whatever, I can always play this game again. We're gonna, we're gonna go with whatever decisions I make and accept it. I'll, I'll, I'll find out what that canister was for, like, maybe another, like, once we're done with the whole game. Have you unlocked, wait, you have unlocked a new bonus. <clears throat> That's affirmative, Lieutenant. We're in position. Perfect. Nobody moves until I give this signal. Is that clear? Oh, no! I'll nail him as soon as he sets foot outside. Right, Lieutenant. Lucky that patrol spotted his car. What's he doing in there? Beats me. You're the profiler, right? I thought you were supposed to be right inside the killer's head. Well, that's just it. What I know of Ethan Mars doesn't match the killer's psychological profile. Is that her? I know what the jury's gonna choose between your theories and concrete proof. What the fuck is that girl doing there? Right now she's gonna be in trouble. What do we do, Lieutenant? Want to get her out? No, stand down. Ethan? She's going inside. Maybe she lives there. I'll <laughs> as well. We don't want anyone hanging around if Mars comes out. Ethan, what happened? The police, they're out there. I think they're here to arrest you. Oi, oh, Ethan. Are you gonna die? We gotta find another way out. Shit. What's he up to in there? Ethan. Wait for a go on my word. my way Ugh. Ethan can you get up and help me what are you lost a finger Oh, look! Ready? Oh, no! Go. Stay here, Jaden. Out of the question. I'm coming with you. Two men at the door hold your positions. It's a go. Oh, God! No, no, no! Ethan, get your ass over here right now! <laughs> Hurry up! Hurry up! I'm gonna push your ass! Oh, shoot. Hey, you, don't move. I'll shoot. Come on. Come on, Ethan. I can't. Hands in the air. Shit. Lieutenant, there's a man and a woman exiting the alley. A woman? Shit. It's that girl who went in. Everybody downstairs. They're in the alley. Follow Oh, me. we're going to go that way? The oh, subway. shit. I thought we were going to take the bus, but screw it. Come on. Come on. Come on, Ethan. 
Come on. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's it. This, this way. And then we gotta take a left. And then we're gonna take a right. We're gonna take a right. Hurry up. And then we're going down the subway. I want to just push his ass down the stairs to make him go faster. Oh my god. Oh, Ethan, hang in there. Ethan, Ethan what's the matter? Oh no. We gotta keep going. Ethan, Ethan, they're coming. Is that where we have to go? Excuse me, excuse me, wounded man, move your ass, move, move it, move. Uh, come on, come on, Ethan. Uh, now, get your ass over there. Come on, excuse me, excuse me, sorry. Excuse me. Entered man here. Stop or I'll shoot. Come on. Come on, Ethan. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God, we're running away from the cops. Move. 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 Oh, God, they're coming. Move, yes! Move out of the way, you dumb asshole. I don't know where to go. The tracks. We've got to cross the tracks. Really? Think of something fast. Quick. Quick. Ethan, quick. It's going to hit us. Ethan! <laughs> We're going to die. We're going to... Oh, shit! We're going to die, Ethan. We're going to die. Give me your hand. Give me your hand. Okay. Train, we gotta get on the train. It's our only chance. Come on, come on. Let's just stare at it. Okay. <laughs> Meanwhile, across the subway. <laughs> Good thing I played a lot of Grand Theft Auto. Got to run from the cops a lot in that game. <clears throat> You're right. <laughs> Less than an hour ago, we heard from the police who have identified the man thought to be the origami killer. Ethan Mars, father of the kidnapped victim Sean Mars, is on the run and should be considered armed and dangerous. A police manhunt is now underway, and they hope that they will soon be able to announce the apprehension of this dangerous lunatic. Wait, 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 I want to... I want to see what they say. The price is right, it was going to start. I brought some food. I didn't know what you like, so I brought some of everything. I, I hope that's okay. Uh. Why are you helping me, Madison? You know nothing about me. You could have been killed. I don't know. I guess it just seemed like the right thing to do at the time. You needed help. I helped you. But I could be the criminal. You were all over the news reports, Ethan. Every cop in the country will be hunting you. But why are you helping me? They say me? you're the origami killer. Is it true? Are you the killer, Ethan? Are you into killers? Hmm? I... I sometimes have these blackouts. <gasps> oh my god, you're the killer! Times where I don't know what I'm doing. Aww. As if I'm... someone completely different. 
the only thing I remember afterwards <clears throat> is the bodies. <gasps> the bodies in the water. Why are you hurt, Ethan? Why were you in that apartment? Ouch. I think my other self is testing me, testing my love for Sean. He wants to know if I would love my son enough to save him. That means there's some part of me that knows where Sean is. But the only way to find him is to go through these trials. Hmm. Why can't you tell that to the police? Yeah. And tell them what? That I'm a schizophrenic who drowns his victims and has kidnapped his own son? They'd never let me go, and I have to stay free to save Sean. I have no choice. I'm his only chance. When Sean is out of danger, I'll turn myself in, but not until then. You can't keep going like this. You're destroying yourself, Ethan. Finding Sean is the only thing that matters. There has to be another way. You don't understand. Time is running out. Sean will be dead in a few hours. I have no choice! Hmm. Please, Madison. Leave. Forget everything that's happened. There is nothing more you can do for me. If you want to help me, leave. <laughs> leave me to do this on my own. Maybe you need help, e help, Ethan. I mean... Aww. I, I feel like I'm gonna get him killed. Ethan has been doing a lot to save his son. Huh... That's a good story, though. This is a good story. All right, let's see. Hmm, nothing new. One second. One second. I need to take some medicine. No, I don't need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Let me wash my hands a little bit. <clears throat> my pinky. One second. No, I don't, I don't need to go to the bathroom. I can hold it. One second, guys. You're going to see a blue screen, and I really hope it doesn't cut off. Stick your finger to the toilet and sanitize. <laughs> Ew! Hold on. There. Okay. I, I wasn't sure if when Uneducated Possum said that my voice, my voice was too loud, I thought, oof, maybe I should... Uh, Lower it down just a little bit. I don't know if that's okay for, with you guys. I lowered it down just a little tiny. Okay, what's the next challenge? So we've already completed two challenges, two trials. We failed one. How many more are left? Are you prepared to kill someone to save your son? Brad Silver. Lexington, kill him. Send a picture. Get your reward. Oh, Lord. We are going to become a criminal. <gasps> no. 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 Ha <laughs> ha! 
Sorry. Press the wrong button. All right, let's see. We're getting into some good shit now. Play that freak! Ah! Stop it! Ah! Your vodka, sir. Vodka? I asked for Thanks. chocolate milk. You look preoccupied, if you don't mind my saying so. <laughs> Problems with the investigation? Blake is convinced that Mars is the killer. Not you. I thought there was some evidence to that effect. But that's, that's not true. enough. But it just doesn't make sense. His psychological profile doesn't fit, neither does the geolocalization. I can't see this father drowning eight victims before kidnapping his own kid. Mars is not the origami killer. I'd stake my life on it. Aw. Then who is? I haven't the faintest fucking idea. Maybe you should review the evidence in your possession. That's just what I was thinking of doing. Thanks, Alfred. Oh, one last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in you know what. It can be dangerous. Very what? dangerous. And what? I'm trying to keep a handle on it, but that's difficult. It gets more and more difficult. It'll end up killing you if you're not careful. <gasps> that would be most unfortunate, sir. Thank you, Alfred. Tell Bruce I said hello. I didn't pick this last time. Environment, please. I did not choose this. I would like to be under water. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right, now let's go to clear all. All right, let's take a look at the clues. Well, well, looks like there's something new. The video recording from near the park on the afternoon Sean Mars disappeared. I doubt there's anything on it, but you never know. Yeah, let's take a look at it. Uh... A Chevrolet model corresponding to the tire prints passed at 1602 heading for the park when in the opposite direction at 1637. That could fit the time that Sean Mars disappeared. Could it be the killer's car? Hmm. No data. <sighs> Tire tracks? One second. No, it's fully charged. Okay. All right, next clue, the origami. Let's analyze this. I think we already analyzed this. Hmm. Ah, 
Pity we can't see the driver's face. The car was stolen. Let's see. A certain Jackson Neville was suspected of stealing it. But the charges were dropped. Not enough evidence. What's this? Jackson Neville, a.k.a. Mad Jack, involved in several cases of buying and selling stolen vehicles. Considered to be very dangerous. This guy might have provided the killer with a car. Yeah. It's a pretty slim lead, but it's all I have right now. We could go talk to him. You're bleeding! Oh, one last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in you know what. It can be dangerous. Does he mean Very like in that? dangerous. Shit, it's... It's coming. Tryptocaine. The tube is on the bedside table. All I need is to take some, and the pain will go away. I should resist. This is gonna kill me. I know I can resist. I just need to stay in control and, and do something until it goes away. Uh, no! No! Get away from it! is there so close all I have to do is take it and everything will be fine I I am in withdrawal if I resist I'll get over it I I gotta take some I need it I need it now no you don't uh, calm down I need to get a grip Give it some time to pass. A shower. shower! A cold shower will cool me down. Alcohol, maybe? I don't know! I did a mistake! I'm gonna... I'm gonna... No! Let's put it down! I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. Huh? I don't understand. Danger, throw it. Throw it? Ah, oh, I, I, I... I need to get rid of it. It's the only way. I'm going to flush it down the toilet. <laughs> I don't know! Should I really do it? I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! I killed myself! No! Oh no! Oh no! I 
I did. I don't know what I did. I don't know what to do anymore. <laughs> I hate my life. <laughs> Man, all these characters, man, are all, they're all going through some they're going through some shit. Man friends, mad friends at 11 uh, 1110 a.m. Meanwhile, that poor little boy is drowning in that pool of water, dirty water. Manfred Manfred! Anybody home? Nice typewriters. Manfred! Hello! It's your favorite customer. Wow, look at These are nice typewriters. Oh, I know why we're here. Because that was with a typewriter. Okay. Manfred! No one in the store. Might be somebody in the back room. Nothing much changed here. Just the dust and the clocks ticking on and on. I was crazy to let her come with me. She's trying to help out, but she... Hi there, Manfred. Who is it? Scott. Scott Shelby. Do you remember me? S Scott? This is Scott! Oh, yes, of course. Well, good to see you. Oh. How long has it been? Oh, about ten years, I guess. Oh. At my age, time means nothing anymore. I... I prepare clocks, but I try to forget about time. <laughs> How about you? Are you still with the police? Oh. No, I quit. I'm a private investigator now. Private investigator? Uh, this is Lauren. She's a... she's a friend. Hello. Oh, Aww. young lady. Well, this this calls for a celebration. I've just the thing. Wait there. I, I'm sure I I saw a bottle of scotch around here somewhere. <laughs> he reminds me of my 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 eye doctor. Do an old man a favor, would you, Scott? Tell him to call back this afternoon. Okay. Sure, no problem. Hello? Yeah, this is Manfred's. He's not available right now. Could you call back later this afternoon? Thanks. There you go, buddy. I gotcha. I should become your assistant. Lauren, everything all right? Well, to old friends. Cheers. <laughs> oh, what the hell? I'd like you to have a look at an envelope. I thought maybe you could tell me about the typewriter that was used to type the address on it. No, well, let's have a look. Now, could you pass me the uh, magnifying glass from behind the counter, oh, sure, please? I'll get it. My eyes are beginning to fail me. Oh, that's the bathroom! Oh, no, 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 no. Magnifying glass behind the counter. I'm coming. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh! I got you, buddy. Here you go. Thanks. Well, let's see what this envelope has to say for itself. Hmm. You've been invited to Hogwarts. Five. <laughs> mm, yes, the shape of the. T's and the F's is typical of that model. Produced between 1907 and 1924. Wow, I did not yeah. know. No doubt about it. 
It's a Royal Five. These typewriters, are they rare? No, no, they're fairly common. I'd say many folks have one gathering dust in an attic or in their cellar. Hmm. Do you keep a record of all your clients? Oh, yes, indeed. At least the ones who pay. <laughs> Any chance I could get a peek at that? Yes, of course. I keep my account books in the office. Uh, if you're not in a hurry, I have a list of all the clients who ever bought a Royal Five or, or had one repaired. Yeah, that would really help us out. Hmm. Delighted to help. But I don't know if we have enough minutes, time. And I'll be right back with the list. Watch him like <laughs> run his ass in here. If he has a 1920s typewriter, he may have needed Manfred's services to get it fixed. We'll know when we get the list. Killer's name might be in Manfred's papers. Lauren thinks she's about to find the killer. I'm afraid she's going to be disappointed. Been a while since Manfred went into his office. I should take a look. Been a while since. Hello? Manfred! Hello? Your call is locked, sir. A police what? will be there in a few minutes. I need to know who you are, sir. Sir? Hello? Oh my god, how in the world? Manfred? Oh my god. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> oh, oh my god, why does this game have these moments? Like, you see him on the floor, like, dead. You should already, you know, we should already assume that he's dead. And he touches him and everything. Oh my God, he's dead. <laughs> oh no shit. Oh my God, this game has its moments. What did you do? I did nothing. I thought Manfred like killed himself, but I I, I, don't, I don't know. Uh, we must solve this mystery. Man, we keep getting nowhere. <gasps> oh my God, the killer was, he went through this window. Scott? Oh my god. It's not what it looks like. He tripped. I'm calling the police. The killer has already called the police. I think he wants us to be a scapegoat. We gotta get the oh. hell out of here. What do you mean? We have nothing to do with his death. We were just here when it happened. I know, Look, exactly. we're running out of time to find Sean Mars. The last thing we need is 24 hours in a police station explaining this whole thing. Yeah. Well, so what do we do? We gotta go, girl. We gotta go. We gotta run! Watch the front door. I'll get rid of our fingerprints from everything we touched since we came in. <laughs> we better work fast. The police are gonna be here any minute. We only touched. <sighs> what are you doing, Lord? If someone comes in, we're gonna be in trouble. These are Manfred's account books. He must have been looking for owners of royals when he was killed. Forget it. We gotta get out of here fast. everything ah uh. oh god and then we gotta get the phone and we gotta get the phone in the back to <laughs> get 
Get the boat! Get the... Hunt it! Hey! Uh. I don't want to go to jail! I don't want to go to jail! No! Why are you running? Walking on like an idiot! Where the hell is the phone? Oh, I'll, oh, I hate the way they walk. I hate the way they walk sometimes. I really do hate the way they walk sometimes. I think that's everything we touched. Scott, are you gonna be much longer? The police will be here any second. I'm almost finished. Oh God. Oh God. The peer pressure, oh my god. Wait a minute. I don't think there's anything else. Oh, 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 uh, No! Lauren, I'm, you almost got your ass in trouble. Okay. That's it, we're done. You get all the prints? Yes. I got what I got. It should be enough to prevent them from finding us. Come on, let's go. Oh, God. What? No! <laughs> oh, I even thought about the bathroom. So. You claim the victim was killed while you were in his shop, correct? Yes, he went to get something in his office. A few minutes later, I went in to see if he was okay. That's when I found him. Shit! <laughs> Damn it! Oh, well. Oh, well. And there I was like, oh, I gotta get the music box. And then it's like, wah, wah, wah. All right, I already I already ran out of time for this episode for my YouTube channel, so I'm going to save it here. I think I'll do one more hour, just one more hour, and then after that, we'll have to call it a night. But let's go ahead and do one more hour. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Those of you who are watching me live on my Twitch, stay tuned, because we'll, like I said, we'll keep going. One more hour, because I can't stop it here. And uh, for my viewers on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll see you guys next time. Y'all have a good day or a good night. Leaders.